is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and welcome to day 22 of Off the Board. So today I am doing something that is a little different. Um, it is still a 12 by 12 scrapbook page, um, but in this case I am using this inspiration, and I put it up in the left-hand corner, and it's from... Donna, Donna's Scrappy Dough blog spot, and she has made this pocket page. And I thought this was such a cool idea because there are so many places that we go and visit and do things, either as a family or a girls trip or whatever, but you always have that memorabilia and we keep it. So we need to use it. And sometimes there's like a lot. Like I personally find brochures super hard to, to scrapbook um, because I don't really want to tape them down. I want you to be able to pull them out and actually look at them. Like I think it'd be super fun to look at a map of Disneyland like with your grandkids because Disneyland's map this year is going to look different than what it looked like, what it will look like when they go. So I am going to attempt to make this pocket. Now, you can see here that I am struggling a little bit, partly because I am trying to use the scraps from my How to Kill a Kit with Style, and I just don't have enough paper, I think is basically what it boils down to. So my pocket is just going to be a little shallower, which works out just fine. So I started with the one piece of paper on the left and basically just cut a big triangle. Then I went to the other side and thought I had cut enough of a triangle, but as you can see, I didn't. So I think what needed to be done was really maybe cut the whole paper in half and then put it up and then basically just trim down the bottom to where you want it. I think probably would have been the best way to do it, but I didn't have a full piece of paper, so that didn't work for me. So here's where I goof up again. Um, this was definitely a lot of trial and error. So I put that piece of pink paper underneath um, to kind of differentiate between the angle and the and the background paper. And you can see that when I cut it off even, then it didn't go far enough to the top. So the good news is the other side is going to cover up the bottom. So I only need it to go fully all the way to the top on the other side. Now, I didn't have a long enough strip of paper, so I had to actually put two pieces together. And my goal was to try and line up the pattern so you really couldn't tell that, um, there, that it was pieced together. And I think if you look at it hard enough, you can tell, you can see the seam, but at least the pattern lines up, so I'm okay with that. So in order to make the pocket part, you only glue down two of the three sides. That way your top side is open and then things can easily fit in and out of it. So I am going to trim up that pink area and probably would have been easier to trim it before I put it down, but I didn't. <laughs> um, the background paper that I'm using is actually from a paper pad and it is from the Dear Lizzie Stargazer collection. And I thought it was the perfect paper because the brochures that I am using are from NASA or from Kennedy Space Center. And um, so there are the two pieces that I have. Now in the inspiration, she has the tickets tucked into one side, which is perfect. 
I thought that was so cool. Um, and I don't know where our tickets are. I'm really sad. Hopefully they will show up. They're probably in some box um, from the move, but I don't know where they are. So I have done a picture of just the kids in front of the NASA sign together, but I haven't done one um, of them individual. And I wasn't sure that I wanted to do more single pages of that. So I opted to just add those free floating into the pocket as well. And then I had two other pictures from there and I'm going to add them to the front. So I'm going to do that instead of the tickets. So now I'm going to work on the banner and I am going to do NASA and so I am making my own and I am making a fishtail banner. Now these were not the best scissors to do this, but it turns out okay. And I was lazy and didn't want to do them one at a time. So I did all four of them at once. So it's much easier for me to work upside down. So I go ahead and flip my layout over. I'm going to attach my banner. And then I'm going to go look and see if I can find some thickers to go on there. And I eventually end up landing on the pick me, I think it was pick me up, pick me up uh, from Pink Paisley. And these are definitely one of the best thickers ever. And I've used them a lot, but barely have gone through them. So I still have every letter left, so it's perfect. So I am going through what ephemera I have left actually from the Stargazer only because I knew I had these two pieces of ephemera that were constellations. So I have one that is a tag and then one that is that circle. So the tag fits perfectly by that photo down there. And since I didn't have the real tickets, I found um, these tickets that I had cut apart for a previous project and not used. And they were the perfect colors to go with it. Now, I think the problem that I have with this constellation is it kind of looks like an egg. So I end up tucking it right under there and that works great for me. So I know that I have two ladies, I think, playing along with me today, um, Jen and Kelsey. So I will leave their links down below. Make sure you head over and check out what they have made today. And then um, if you are playing along, I would love to see what you're doing. Um, if you use the hashtag O-T-P-W-P-P, O-T-B-W-P-P. I hope I said that right. Um, so that I can see what you're doing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Here are the close-ups. If you have any questions, please link them down below. If you like what you see, hit the like button. And remember to wear your crown. Bye.